Hello, my name's Joe, and in today's episode of English Up, I'm going to help you improve your English while walking around London. But it's so noisy here. Let's look for a quiet, calm place. A park would be perfect. I have a wonderful idea. Let's have today's lesson in the park. Today in English Up, visiting parks in London, picnicking. Feeding ducks, playing frisbee, and other leisure activities. Finally, I'm in the park. It's so beautiful and quiet. And by the way, did you know that London is one of the world's greenest capitals? It has so many beautiful parks and gardens, and here, Londoners. And tourists can relax and enjoy so many different leisure activities. These are the things we like to do when we have some free time. Right now, let's learn some more about these leisure activities. London is a very busy city, but it has a lot of places to relax. The beautiful parks of London are famous all over the world. On these large green lawns, you can enjoy several different leisure activities. You can sit alone and read a book, or lay out a blanket on the grass and have a picnic. If you prefer something more active, you can play badminton or frisbee with your friends. There are lovely ponds and canals in some parks. So, if you like, you can feed the ducks that live there. Or, if you enjoy boating, you can rent a boat to ride down the canal. Whatever you fancy, parks in London are the perfect places to enjoy various leisure activities. Now, as you can see, there are so many things to do in the park, but let's take a short test to see if you can remember them. Match the words with the pictures. Reading, picnicking, boating, great job. It seemed like it was very easy for you. Make pairs. To rent a boat, to have a picnic, to play frisbee, to feed the ducks. Well done, guys. You now 
know so many leisure activities you can do in the park. But how often do you visit the park? Sometimes, often, or always? We'll talk about that in the second part of today's programme. Coming up next, talking about leisure activities using never, sometimes, often, usually, and always. Stay tuned. So, we've learned about many leisure activities that people can enjoy in the park. But there are some things they can never do here because they're forbidden. On the other hand, there are some things that are always here. They're here all the time. So we have two words, always and never. But there are many cases when these two words are not enough. So we have sometimes, usually and often. Now let's listen to how people use them in speech. How often do you go to the park? Well, I walk my dog here, so I come here twice a day, in the morning and evening. Very often, every weekend, my friends and I meet here to spend time together. <laughs> what do you usually do in the park? Uh, I enjoy being alone in the park. Sometimes I just read a book and sometimes I feed the ducks over there. It's very relaxing. Uh, we always bring our children here. Uh, they usually play badminton or frisbee. Um, well, we go picnicking on Sundays. It's a great thing to do when you want to relax and communicate with your family. So. Have you ever rented a boat in the park? Uh, to be honest, I've never rented a boat, but that's a good idea. I should try it at least once. Yes, I actually uh, rent a boat every time I come here. I love sailing down the river canals. So we have five words to describe how often we do something. These are never, sometimes, usually, often, and always. We use never to describe the things that don't happen at all. We use always for the situations that happen all the time. We use sometimes for the actions happening from time to time. We use often for the actions that happen many times and regularly. And we use usually for the things that happen in most situations. And now, let's check to see if you remember everything that I said. Complete the sentences by filling in the gaps. He doesn't like sport at all, so he never plays badminton with us. She is an excellent student. She always goes to class. I usually work five days a week, but sometimes I need to work on weekends. Great job! You did really well. Now you can tell people about your favourite leisure activities and how often you enjoy them. If you feel like you need more practice, try writing about your daily routine using the words we've learned today. Maybe you often go to the park and sometimes play sport there. Or Maybe you enjoy reading and always take a favourite book with you. And as for me, I like doing yoga. And I'm going to join those guys. See ya.